Hello, second graders! I am dressed like Superman today. He's my favorite superhero. Um, I am in no means like Superman, okay? Nothing like Superman. Couldn't be Superman if I tried. But he is my favorite, so I am dressed as Superman, cape and all. So um, maybe if you're not wearing a superhero t shirt, sweatshirt, you might go put one on. Maybe you could put one on for our lessons today. That would be fun. Just to, so we can be one. We can all be superheroes because after all, we all are. At least I think all you guys are superheroes. All of you. McKenna, Heston, Sam, Jace, Caleb, Bryson, Nolan, Braxton, James, Robert, I think all you guys are superheroes. You guys are awesome. I miss you. I miss you a ton. And I don't know if we're going to get a chance to get back here in the classroom this year or not. Hopefully we will, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out. And part of the reason why I'm wearing a superhero outfit today is for our read aloud. Um, we're going to read about a superhero. It's going to have a little bit of what we're having to do at home. It's called My Superhero Is You. We're going to read about that today. Um, and I just have a coloring picture of a dragon, a baby dragon, because the dragon on there looks like that. So that's all we're going to have for the read aloud today. Um, and it talks a little bit about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and some of the things, kind of from a point of view that you might understand. All right. But before we get started on all that stuff, I want to start with calendar like we always do. So, what month is it? What month are we in? Right? April. April showers bring, and May flowers bring, you better know by now. Okay? And what is the day of the week? Somebody in the room. I like to pretend that you're actually here. Because I wish you were. The day of the week would be Monday. I think Spanish for Monday is lunes. All right. Um, what is the date? The date. What color is it going to be? And what is the date? Today would be the 20th. Somebody's birthday is tomorrow. I wonder whose birthday that's going to be tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, Jace. <coughs> Jace. <coughs> Jace. Oh, Jace's birthday is tomorrow. All right, 20th. And what is the year? 2020. One will never forget because of we're at home for a few months. So what is the complete date? Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Okay, I hope you have your superhero stuff on. Okay, so we're gonna walk over here for our skills lesson. We've seen this stuff before, a lot of this is review. I have it on the board so we can see it. And I have this sheet for you all. Okay, pretty simple. But before you start on your sheet, please pay attention to what's on the board. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, but pay attention to the board. All right. We have the letters E-D, E-D, Ed, maybe, or it makes three sounds if you remember. They are all, first of all, past tense. So in other words, if I started, means I already started. It happened in the past. If I baked a pie, means you already did it, right? It happened in the past. That's what that means when it says past tense. It means you already did it. Past tense, not present tense. Present tense is right now. Baking means you're doing it right now. That's present tense. You're doing it in the present. Anybody seen Back to the Future? Okay. They're in the past and he wants to get back to the present. Okay, so past means it already happened. Okay, yesterday was in the past. Tomorrow is in the future, 
The right now is in the present. Okay, we got that? Past. And after a verb, if we have an ED on the end, it means it happened in the past. So, and we've also learned that ED has, how many makes how many sounds? Three. Okay, we have a E plus D, eh, D, right? When we have these lines, it means that that's the sound we make, right? E plus D, eh, D, ed. So here's an example. Started. I started running, geez, years ago, but started. Okay, I already started my homework assignment. Okay, I started painting a beautiful picture. Okay, so ED is making an ed sound. Start ed, started. Okay, sometimes ED makes a d sound, just d, like stayed. I stayed home yesterday, stayed. It's still spelled ED, but it just has the d sound, stayed. Started, stayed, and the last one, sometimes the ED makes a t sound, t, like baked. I baked a pie yesterday, all right? I baked a cake yesterday. I baked bread last night. And notice I'm saying everything happened in the past. I did it yesterday, last night. I started this morning, all right? So if it has ED, it happened in the past, so it's past tense. All right. You guys are ready to move on. I need a pencil so I can do one of these with you. All right, so what we want to do on number one, num one and two are done for us. Okay, I need. Okay, I need. So if it was yesterday, if you needed something, you would say I needed. I needed, I put an ED on the end. So pretty simple, we need to do that. And these are all, ED have a E plus D sound, an ED sound. Started, wanted, needed, okay? Down here, it is spelled with the ED, but it just has the D sound. Like called, opened, it has an ED, Still, it's spelled with the ED, but you just make a D sound. And on the next page, it is spelled with ED again, but it makes the T sound. So if I have the word ask, if I put, like I asked if we could go to the mall, asked, I put an ED on the end, because the ED is making the T sound. So don't forget, don't just put a T on the end. It's ED, that's a funny thing about our English language. So the next one is pass, we passed. The other car on the highway, we picked apples. Notice I put an ED on the end, but it's Picked, excuse me. All right, and down here, I need you to read the word. Played, sprinted, rushed, filled, shouted, watched. Okay, is it making an E plus D sound, meaning ed? Or is it making a D sound, like d? Or is it making this sound with t? So, ed, d, t. And then just shade in the oval, or that has a check mark, so you can put a check mark. Do it however you want. And then all of these verbs are in the what tense? Past or present? I'm not going to tell you that. I already told you that at the beginning if you're paying attention. So that's it. Get that sheet done. And we will be ready to rock and roll. Remember to wear your superhero shirt. Okay. Bye, all. See ya. After you get done with this, take a break. Get a drink of water. Use the bathroom. You don't even need a hall pass. Do some chores for mom and dad. Give them hugs. Tell them how lucky you are and how much you love them. And I'm lucky to have taught all of you for the most part of this year. And I really miss you. So we'll see you guys.
and then come back for math.